that's enough. <clears throat> Regardless, yesterday, Slipper and Slime for the infestation types. I managed to check all the slime shrimps. I didn't use any of the lures and eventually just got myself uh, all the lures pretty much intact back to, to my uh, drone upgrade. So I did the leave them behind in the ship and uh, apparently Renegade was 4 seconds behind me. That's interesting. Dano got uh, a slime in... I suppose in his room too for missing the slime timer and took 40 points of damage for that. Yeah. But overall, people finished it in less than 8 minutes. Amazing. Alright, transport and cannon for the statue upgrades. We get the lure for the sky upgrade with 30 points below maximum drone HP in total. We create medical A with two infestation types, good whole integrity and volatile age. Oh exciting! Medical A tends to be pretty big size wise. We're gonna start at 140. It's gonna be a fun one. All right. Wait a second. All right. I'm gonna go there a little bit later, I suppose. Okay! Slime and sentry in the house. Tired of the ship, all right. All right. Mm. Survey, uh, ship scan somewhere, rather. We're definitely gonna need this uh, second generator to power this uh, thing somewhere. Field charge not to reach that. Got it. Yeah, 
All right. Um. Okay. Where else? If you're that one rogue slime or a starting one, but you look pretty fresh, so I'm just gonna assume you're the fresh one. This room was initially with the transport signal. of these rooms in case and I hope I will not miss any of the sentries mm, I still have to check room 7 though How am I going to check if room 7 has a sentry there or not? I mean, I know one of the ways. Let's 
just gonna wait until 9 minutes. Yeah, seeing this slimer here makes me unsure if room for slime is actually the rogue slime or the starring one. I'm not gonna get any of the sentries at room 7, yeah. I'm just gonna hope that's gonna be the case. If that's gonna be the case, then uh... That means we can start to radiate the sentries. All two of them, all two of them are there, huh? I mean, it's very likely it's going to be all two of them. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to friend room four definitely, and then I might as well want to open the ten because I'm going to want to take the sentry scraps from there. But then, how the hell are you going to start radiating these rooms first off? Better question, where are the slime spawns? Expect to see you there actually. Well, I don't want to be used there actually. I mean, at least. These generators are pretty close to each other as well. Room 11 and room 2 is here. not memorizing uh, this layout. Oopsie.
this process is gonna be very time consuming because as per usual I wanna kill all the centers perfectly without me worrying about slime summer first and also because it's a good tool integrity I don't have to worry for the radiation leak I do on the other hand have to worry for incoming asteroid collision if there's going to be an asteroid in this derelict I'm still not sure about the third slime hmm. Like where is everyone? I'm seriously having issue on being perfectionist. I'm planning to kill the sentries via room 7, but that means I'm gonna have to spread the whole radiation from room 18, room 19, to room 10, and then eventually I want the sentries all to move to room 10, and then eventually they will all go to room 7. And so far I've yet to get all my all my third slime, or is the one at room 4 is actually the rogue slime? So many questions, so little answers. The issue with room 8 is that uh, that room is actually very, very narrow. One of these is actually there even. Uh, if that's not gonna be the case, then I can always try to use room 8 as the room to kill the sentry at as well. Uh, actually, never mind because. Uh, I'm all about confusion here. Room 3 is also the best uh, room to ready the sentry at as well, actually. What was I thinking? Jesus. I tell it the door get open for pretty long as well. Uh, I'm just gonna bait slime here because I want to. Okay, that's an issue. Because if room 8 wasn't to, going to be the one where I'm going to kill the sentry at, uh, it's going to be room 3 and I could just uh, try to quote unquote lure the sentries to room 3 by D12. <laughs> eh, whatever. I 
think that's where the second sentry located, and then eventually all of my sentries will move back to that room with the T19, I suppose. Yeah. All right, moving on. I'm still letting a lot of all my possibilities to kill the sentries. Issue is where the heck should I do that? Room 15 is even the best room for that, but... <laughs> the way going back is going to be very rough. Very, very, very rough. Hmm... I'm still not having the best idea to... Where to kill the sentries? Oh my god. Okay, that D14 thing is very weird. Totally have yet to ever see that before. Or this might be a mistake because uh, I have yet to know if there's going to be a corrupted post command somewhere. Oh! Oh, whoa, that's close. I forgot how did I let that sentry... Moving away. Crap. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, room 10! Right! Didn't think through. One of the sentries is at that room. Okay, excuse me. My, my tea. You're kind of not allowed to be in this room, to be honest. So I'm just gonna let you roam around that D30. Get over there. Good sentry. <laughs> okay, I think that's the all the third slime spawn. Okay, give me a bit. I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally bring the other sentry here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, wait. I got the first entry here, the second one is here, right? The third one's there, so I'm pretty much free from uh, slime timer, thankfully. Where the hell shall I kill all these entries for so? It's bringing me crazy. Was it? I thought that was a bit of a growl or something that I'm not really getting too used to listen to. Wait. Okay, the sentry's there. I don't want the sentry to be there. I'm sorry, I just loved how that emblem progresses. Good! I was about to let myself uh, get fooled there. Hehe. <laughs> okay, anyways, I think I'm going to just return you there instead. Yep, that's it. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Room 12 will go bye-bye. Twenty-five forty. That any good news, buddy? <laughs> room sixteen is the one room. Look at it at the very left of room 11. Um, I am going to commit the best failure ever for dragging this out. I don't know what I'm doing here. Why am I just wasting more than 10 minutes for the sake of bringing the sentries back and forth? Instead of being progressive and killing this its sentries, I am not at the best mindset ever for today. Room only room sixteen, please. Thank you so much. But that comes with the other alternative. I cannot take the sentry scraps from room 3. Which means I'm gonna have to rely on D36 and possibly room for only room 14 transport to eventually just let myself out of the situation. One there. I have an idea though. need to progress on all these uh, things to be honest I'm gonna return the sentry back to room 10 and back to room 8 from room 10 I mean Another alternative that I could do is to uh, unite all the sentries. Notice that sentry was about to go there. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm gonna have to more or less cut some of these parts to make this slightly more tolerable to be watched instead of wasting your time or something. Wow, that one sentry is about to go there, even.
Okay, okay, I have, I have, I have a plan laid out in my mind. Okay, I'm gonna trap Qbert into room 4 first until at least I know if there's going to be a corrupted close command. No, still a no. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just want all these centers to eventually get a little bit damaged by room 18 and uh, possibly room 19 radiation. Thanks to this incoming room target mode. Uh, that's assuming that all the sentries will eventually all move to room 4. Hmm. It's gonna be a very hazardous trip for that those sentries to be fairly honest with you. So my GT command allows for me to gather as well as tra uh, transport back to room 1 at the same time. In a sense, I kind of wait. I kind of want to wait to see how the transport would go. Is it going to eliminate the transport signal at room 2 or is it going to eliminate the transport signal at room 15? Because if one of them is going to get eliminated, that means one of them is going to be persistent permanently until the end of the mission. Until you exit the mission, rather. <sighs> Another risky waiting coming through. I'm doing this way longer than I should, to be honest. I just should have predated this entry to either room 9 or room 18. And then just take their scrap and get the hell out of the mission. Any sign? Any sign of losing transporter? Yeah, this setup is really not the best, isn't it? On the other hand, I can just risk all these uh, sentries to room 4 via room 18. It's about me couldn't... Okay, room 15 plan is a no-go. It's fair enough. Uh... Hmm... Okay, I want to see something. A 
Oh crap. I forgot to open the thing as well. surviving here a very impossible test to be done but eventually I just did my hand is freezing it's a not it's a pretty much of a no-go condition for me to eventually just actually continue to get to the perfection of this thing but eventually I just did what okay so that's the room 17 that was getting a bit damaged there okay fair enough Bring them to this ten at the same time is going to be a bit of an impossibility, not gonna lie. Oh, except it might be a possibility. Oh god, it is. sentries didn't get as much damage as I was expecting it to be I'm taking it like a boss <laughs> I honestly swear it could have been 1008 but I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> it's just really funny to me that actually uh, both of the sentries didn't die at the same time. Yeah, most folk took uh, more than 10 points of damage to Archie. It, 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 a bit of an Archie. And I took even more time there. I don't know what I should say to other folks. <laughs> Thanks, guys.